All right, so we got this trailer jack. It's extended all the way out and it won't go back in. And if we look down in there, I'm taking the cover off. There's some broken gears in there. So the weight is off the trailer. It's sitting on the hitch of the car right now. And I'm gonna see if I can fix this bad boy. Okay, so I've got the crank handle out and there's a pin right there that holds that you got to knock that pin out um and there's a slot Let's see if i can see it it's coming around right there there's a slot right there that that pin lines up through and holds it in the shaft here so i knocked that pin out and then i was able to pull the shaft and the gears out of the housing once i got the crank handle out of this housing here I'm just left with this gear and so i'm going to take a screwdriver it doesn't have a pin that goes all the way through it it just rests on a pin that goes through the shaft so i'm going to try to do this one-handed if i can just pop that up pops right off and then line up on that pin right there and just push it all the way through There's the pin out, and now I can grab the the rest of the jack, the end part, the part that goes inside and out. I can pull that out of the body. All right, so I've got the the inner part of it out. Um, this up here is where that gear that I've just pried out with the screwdriver. That's where that goes, and it's just one big screw. That's attached here by a crimp. And where this lined up, the end of this pipe, the outer pipe, lined up with here since it was extended all the way out, I made a little scratch in it. And I'm gonna show you what that's for here in a minute. All right, so that mark, about an inch below that mark, I painted this with like a yellow band um, around here. It goes about an inch below that mark. So as I'm raising the jack up, I'll see them, that yellow will start coming out of the tube here, and I'll know that I'm getting towards the end. And won't wind up in the same situation that I was in before, where this screw was stuck and stripped the gears. But make sure before you put the new gears on the, the shaft here, that you make sure this, is, this, this should spin free. This screw right here, you should be able to spin it by hand. And after you get it where you can spin it by hand, put a little bit of grease on it and start working it in and out from there and it should be good to go. Now I'm gonna throw this thing back together, see what happens. All right, so we've got the shaft back in there now in the housing. And in the kit, um, it comes with the two gears and two pins. And if you look, one gear has the slot going all the way through where the other gear does not. This gear will be the one that goes on the screw part here. Um, and you see the pins have two different lengths on them. The longer one is going to go for the one with the longer slot. And the shorter one is going to go for this slot. So let me get these put together and go from there. All right, that's it. She's all back together. Got the new gears in up top. I know we're in the shade right now. Probably can't see that well. But I did have this manufacturer, the gears were not available for this jack anymore. I guess they went out of business. So I just looked up some gears that were kind of close. And these worked. I just I did have to add a spacer in here um, to get this gear to mesh better with that one, but she's working. And you can see the paint there that lets me know when I'm raising the trailer jack, when I start seeing that yellow paint, I know I'm getting towards the end where I need to be careful. So, hope that maybe helps somebody out. Y'all have a good one.